Today's video is how to set up pressure sensitive electric brakes. So let's get started. When talking about pressure sensitive electric brakes, I'm referring to allowing us to apply the amount of brake pressure we want to our electric brakes on our airplane. The way this works is when our landing gear is down, it activates the electronic brakes. When the landing gear is up, it turns the electronic brakes off. To apply pressure, what we do is push elevator. The more we go, the more pressure we get to our brakes. So in the middle would be no brakes applied. As we go up and apply more pressure, it will start applying more brakes until we get to the furthest point and that's our maximum brake pressure. So the way we do this is to set up a mix when the gear is down and have it active and then when the gear is up, we deactivate the mix. For this tutorial, we're going to set them up on Auxiliary 3. I would recommend using Auxiliary 3 in general because that way if you have something like Safe or Reverse Thrust, which is default to Auxiliary 2, Channel 7, you won't have any conflicting configurations. First thing we need to do is get Auxiliary 3 assigned to the elevator channel so it activates based upon the elevator. We'll go down to System Setup, click Yes, go down to Channel Assign. We want to set Auxiliary 3 to Elevator, and that's all we need to do in that screen. Now we'll back out, go to the main menu, scroll down to Mixing, and go to any available mix, I'll use Mix 1. We're going to set this up on a normal mix. Scroll down to switch, push enter, yeah. toggle our gear switch, which is A. When using the gear up and down, I have the switch pushed away from me to have the gear down and towards me to have the gear up. So the switch goes with the orientation of the gear. Now we can scroll up to top and click on auxiliary three to so auxiliary three then we've got our switch in the down position as you can see here shows it in position zero that would be when we want our mix active so what we need to do is put minus 100 here Now you will notice that when we push the elevator up to give it down elevator and activate the brakes, the elevator will go up here and the auxiliary three will go from zero up to plus 100. You will notice over here that the elevator says 85%. That's because my rate for the elevator is on medium rates right now. So, I wanted to make a note of that to show you the rate set on the elevator has no effect on the mix for the electric brakes. Now, when we push up elevator, you will notice that we don't have any input to auxiliary three. So the only input we have is when we go to down elevator, applying pressure to the brakes. When using the electric brakes, zero gives the signal to the electric brakes and they turn on. As you go up to positive 100, it starts to apply more pressure with positive 100 being the most pressure you can apply. The reason why we put the minus 100 in there is that deactivates us getting any signal change going towards negative when we push up elevator or the stick down. So now we need to disable this mix when we have the gear up. That allows us to keep our electric brakes from running all the time in the air when we're not using them. So we'll flip our switch up. Now you can see all the variables have reset. We need to put both of these rates on minus 100 now. The right box is for pushing the stick down. The left box is for pushing the stick up. Okay. 
and then you want to go to offset and put minus 100. What this does is allows no signal to be going to the electric brakes, so it doesn't actually turn them on. enter now let's verify on the monitor at the bottom you notice it says minus 100 when we go up and down there's no input to auxiliary 3 when we flip the switch it goes to zero no input on up elevator brake pressure on down elevator all the way to positive 100 one last thing I want to show y'all is even if we go into servo setup, click at the top, go to reverse, and reverse the gear channel. So this allows us, if you have an airplane and the signal operates the opposite and you have to change that so that it corresponds correctly with the switch down, deploys and the switch up, retracts the gear, you will notice down at the monitor that doesn't have any effect on auxiliary three. So now we're ready to use our electric brakes on our airplane. If you found this video informative or learned something new today, go ahead and push the like button. If you wanna see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.